Hi, I'm Asia from Bflex, and today I'm going to show you how to use our Glitter Series Heat Transfer Vinyl. Inside the package you will find the glitter film and the data sheet with the washing and application instructions. The Glitter Series Heat Transfer Vinyls are film made of fine glitter, which is smooth to the touch and is ideal to get precious and shiny creations. Using the glitter film is as simple as this. Place the film on the cutting plotter mat with the shiny side, which is the liner, facing down. Insert the heat transfer vinyl in the plotter. Set your design in the software and remember to mirror your design. After the cut is complete, remove the film from the plotter and trim the graphic with scissors. Weed the excess material. During the weeding phase, if some details rise, we can easily reposition them thanks to the adhesive liner. Now, the graphic is ready to be applied. The application on the garment can be done using a heat press or home iron. It is essential to carefully follow the time and temperature instructions suggested on the datasheet. To achieve an optimal result, make sure to work on a rigid surface, like a table, and use a heat press mat for even pressure. Place the garment on a heat press mat. Preheat the garment to remove moisture and wrinkles. Place the design on the garment with the shiny side, which is the liner, facing up. Set the heat press following the time and temperature suggested on the datasheet. Now let's press the graphic, making sure to press the entire design area according to the time specified on the datasheet. Set the home iron following the time and temperature suggested on the datasheet. When using the home iron, it's very important to keep in mind not to use steam and to empty the iron tank of any remaining water. Our heat transfer vinyl does not require any protective film such as Teflon or parchment paper, but to facilitate the sliding of the iron on large graphics as in this case, we use parchment paper. Let's press the design with circular movements on its entire surface. Peel off the liner cold, so let it cool completely before peeling it off. If a part of the graphic rises during the peeling phase, we can reposition the liner on it and press it again. Our t-shirt is now finished. We recommend waiting 12 hours before first washing. Be sure to follow the washing instructions specified on the datasheet. If you want to use this design for your applications too, download the file in the description. Bye!